Hi guys. Today we're going to see if this light fitting that I rescued from the bin last night works. <coughs> now, <coughs> I did get two, but the other one was a bit knackered. But uh, I grabbed the other one because it's got the fo or had the photo cell on it. This one doesn't. <coughs> So, I've got to put some weight in that, a different connector on there, so I can connect the wire up, because you're supposed to have a plug to go on there, but obviously, <coughs> without the street light, it's not really possible. So, off the other light fin, I pinched this, which I'll just whack on there. Hopefully. I'm hoping anyway. So, oh, it's only held on with one screw. <coughs> I'll try and keep as much of this in shot as possible. So we should. Okay. Ah. <coughs> Four screws. Two each holding the live and neutral. Right. Look like an air. Look like an air. Oh. That's not going to work, so I'm just going to have it flapping about in the wind, so to speak. <coughs> I hear a fly buzzing about, but I can't see it. <coughs> Sounds like it's coming from over by the computer. No, it's just buzzed straight past my head. <laughs> right. Um, so what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to do two tests. I'm going to leave this wired exactly as it is, because it is wired to bypass the uh, sensor, as you can see, the photo cell. <coughs> so I'm going to stick, I'm going to stick this cable onto here, and then I'm going to go into my hallway and plug it in in the hallway. <coughs> Reason being, I obviously don't know the condition of this light or the <coughs> or those because I'm going to be testing those as well. Not in this video, but I will be testing those. <coughs> Excuse me. But the reason I'm going to do it in the hallway is because I don't know the condition of them, so they could go bang on me, and trip out the uh, electrics. But uh, if I do it in the hallway. <coughs> It's on a different, the power outlets in there are on a different circuit to the ones in this lounge. So if it does trip an MCB, I'm not going to accidentally shut the PC off and cause damage to that. So that's why I do a lot of electrical testing in other rooms and not this one. Because there's like three different ring mains in this flat for some reason. I don't know why the electrician who installed the flat decided to do it that way. But uh, that's what he did. We've got three ring mains. I'd have probably put at least at least two, I think, myself. <coughs> and what have I done with my screwdriver? With my leg. <laughs> right. So we're nearly there. I'll just have to screw in the lamp. So my sodium bulb. Screw fit sodium bulb. Mm. Or sodium lamp, if you want to get technical.
<coughs> so yeah, I'm going to do two tests. Let's see if it fires up minus the um, photo cell. And then I'm going to put the photo cell on. Now, I do know how to wire it up because uh, there is directions on the back of this. Um, live out is the red, so that's what I've got to connect to the lamp, basically, and brown is live in and blue is neutral. Simple. <coughs> One of the reasons I actually grabbed these was because of that photo cell. Right, so I've got the cable on. I'll screw the blub back into its socket, hopefully, without cross-threading it. There we go. Yeah, I took the other light fitting apart for a couple of reasons, actually. The lamp holder itself is busted, and I didn't really need it. So I just salvaged some bits and bobs off of it. Let's uh, see if we can get that closed. That. Right. So we are ready to plug it in, watch it go bang. <laughs> housing for this light as well if I really really wanted to but I don't see the point. <laughs> I've got that fluorescent tube to test as well if it fits my light fitting in the cupboard. It should. I'm pretty certain it's the same length. I won't fit the kitchen because I know that kitchen's a five footer. That's a four footer. That's shorter. How do I know? Because I stood it against me. <laughs> quicker than I thought that would. Right. So the next experiment, I'm actually going to think I'll do it through there. Oh, put this on. And I'll see if the light sensor works. Obviously I'm going to unplug the lines. I'm just going to move my bulb up there. So... Jesus, that make a buzz. I wonder what that buzz was. That bloody thing. Really. Uh, I'm getting the best of shots possible. I'm also going to pull the plug from the wall, just to be extra safe. Then again, I put the screwdriver down and lost it. Here it is. <sighs> Actually, that's sit this way up, that's right. Okay, so I've got a wiring, <coughs> a wiring diagram on here as well. So I've got to take the bypass wire out. So that just connects two lives together, that's all that does. Because obviously the photo cell acts as a switch. So, take the little bypass wire out. Right. Right, wall should be. Yep, that's live in. So I've got the connect sensor in the middle. Brown wire to the middle. Brown to brown, red to red, basically. Just 
won't really see what I'm doing, but I'll show you when I'm done. If the camera's not tall enough and I've got nothing to set it on. Okay. I'm nearly there, I've just got the blue to do. And uh, we have one watt light sensor. I've got to myself, I'm already. I have got the map for it as well. I did keep that. So, there we go. That's all you basically got to do. Red to red, brown to brown, blue to blue. So at least they colour coded it sensibly. Now, in theory, when I now plug this back in, well, as we saw, the bulb flashed. But it hasn't come back on. So if I do this... There we go. Bit of a delayed reaction, but there we go, the photo cell works. Great fun. Hmm, I wonder what street light they took this off of. Because it matched to the top of the pole using the um, bracket here, you see. And there would have been a plastic dome around this sort of area with a black dome on top where the um, photo cell would be. But uh, as I haven't got the pole either, and I wouldn't have anywhere to put it. Oh, that's bright for 70 watt. I didn't think it was necessary to go and get the red. Ah! And twack, get your nose off it. <laughs> Stupid cat was about to stick his nose on the bloody light. Right. Giving him a hell of a shot at the probably kill him. Right. So, I'm not going to touch the capacitors or anything on here for a while because they're going to be charged. Okay. I do need to lead back to do some more testing. No. Might as well leave the photo cell on that. Mm. How long did that take? What have I yet? Right, so I'm going to do a separate video. Testing balls. So, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.